Pico World, what is going on? It's me, Blaze Origin. We're back with another episode of the day. Today is a marvelous Tuesday. You can't go wrong with a Tuesday because, well, it's a Tuesday. And of course, clubs going up on a Tuesday. Got the something something Tuesday. Club going up. That's a classic old. Y'all don't know about that. That's old school. But was well, not that old. <laughs> but hope you guys have a good day out there today, man. Look, big drops today. I'm going to just give it to you raw and dirty. Big drops today, okay? But of course, I got to give you the sneaker of the day because, well, in my opinion, it's the sneaker of the day. You know why? Because it's a hype silhouette, hype beast silhouette, colorway is automatically a dope colorway, and everything else goes along with it is dope with it because it's this silhouette that's bringing life to the sneaker world for the past, what, year now? So sit back, relax. And uh, let's get into this thing, okay? But you know, before we get into anything, I gotta must give out to my shout outs to my people. Shout out to the SWO podcast, man. I just up, I just finished doing a live podcast. So you guys go check that out, man. We're gonna be uploading that on Spotify and stuff like that tomorrow. Then the video will be uploaded on Friday. So you guys check that out down below. If you wanna look at the past couple episodes we got, got you down below, man. Look at the SWO podcast. It just brain fart for a second. But the SWO podcast, man, go down there, check it out, and well, yeah, do what you have to do because the podcast is the best thing out right now. Hottest commodity. We got people of upcoming um, guesses coming on. So you guys check that out. You have to because I'm on there. Pat is on there. I'm going to put all of their uh, YouTube down below. Pat, Aiden, um ash he don't have a youtube but you can catch him on what you call it instagram if you want to you know talk to him about getting on as a guest if, hey you know do what you have to do i'm just letting you know if you want to be a guest holla holla the man ash man or the PSWO podcast on instagram and contact him man he will get you a guest if you want to and we go from there all right but without further ado, man, you know the anthem, you know the motto, we got to get into this video. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, and comment down below. Hit that subscribe button with the bell. <laughs> Hear that noise? You hit the like button because, well, bam, it's right there. You hit the comment section because Blazer Crew, where you guys are in the world? Let me know where you guys are in the world, Blazer Crew, to let me know what are you doing, to let me know where your location at. I need some locations, and of course, your opinion about this shoot of the day. Because, well, I just want to like your opinion. I like when people text me back, give me your opinion. I like the feedback off of your opinions. So hit that comment section and let me know how you're feeling. Thank you. But without further ado, man, this shoe came out today, this morning. I'm not even going to lie. I didn't realize that this shoe would grow on me so quickly. I really wish I had it, but it's okay. I'm going to just catch it on resale if I can. And we can go from there because... What I feel to do, this right here is the SB Dunk Highs, Kentucky's. Mm. Should have been red because it could have been Kentucky Fried Chicken, finger looking good. That's how beautiful this shoe is, and that's how good this shoe is. This shoe, obviously, man, it's a simple SB Dunk High. Simple. Two color, well, three color tone. I'm going to tell you where the other third color is, but it's a three color tone shoe. All right. Now, a lot of people's like, yeah, man, dunks are getting hyped, man. It's every dunk come out with just different shades of this color, different shades of this color, that are the die. It's nothing new. Right. We get that. But sometimes a certain shoe that looks similar to another one, when it comes out, it just looks beautiful. Certain things just look good, even though it's a rerun of something. You know what I mean? And this one right here, it looks good. The colors fit together. They all come together as one big family, and they just seems just right okay now let's get into this nitty gritty itty bitty on this shoe because this shoe is really beautiful now when i saw it this morning i didn't apply for it i didn't do nothing i was like ah, it's another dunk but now that i'm actually looking at it more it's like i wish i should have copped i wish i even i wish i would have put a draw in because this shoe is something to be messing with in my opinion in my opinion i'm just saying but let's get into the nitty gritty itty bitty man this shoe obviously you never, you would never get old. You never get, well, this never gets old. You have that white leather base on the shoe that's white, looking all beautiful as always, from the toe to the back of the back of that booty, looking good, okay? 
Shout out to my boy Mike Rich for saying that, that big booty in the back. <laughs> but this shoe, man, white leather base. Now this tongue, I want to get to the tongue. The tongue has a nylon departure on the tongue, but you really can't really tell because it's kind of overshadowed by the laces and the overlays of the shoe, which is that Game Royal Blue, okay? Now, anybody knows, man, when you hear Game Royal, you automatically assume that it's that beautiful blue, just like on the Jordan 1s when they came out, the Game Royal Jordan 1s. That blue just sits pretty, okay? And they just applied this on this shoe as well. This Game Royal Blue looks pretty, sounds great, it looks great, and I'm pretty sure it feels great, okay? Now, I like how they did Nike did this again. They decided to put this Game Royal on the ground bottoms as well, instead of the white ground bottoms, which is smart because it gives you more blue. If you wanna appreciate the color of this shoe, besides that white, <laughs> It gives you the more colorway on the overlays instead of the, what is that, instead of the base. So I love how they're doing that. Now, me personally, it could have gone white ground bottom and had that upper looking beautiful and stand out on its own. But I like it. How the Game Royal is on the ground bottoms and overlays, it gives you more blue instead of more base. More overlays than base. There you go. Now, I'm pretty sure this shoe probably comes with two laces, maybe three because when i say three laces blue white and orange hear me out though hear me out here's why i say that orange because the insoles of the shoe has the blue insoles with the nike um textile that is orange me personally i wish they would have put that on the um, tongue as well if they would have put that nike tag label as orange instead of blue that that could have been something dope now this is representing the college of Kentucky. I got it. And Kentucky is only with blue and white. Was it Kentucky? Yeah, blue and white. I get it. Okay, I get it. Blah, blah, blah. But if you're going to put an orange on the insoles, why not put it on the tongue, the tongue label as well? To give it a boom, boom situation. That would have been beautiful. Now, if they come out with a low and they put that orange on the back of the Nike textile on the heel. All right. I can pass for that one, the cover for this one. But they didn't, and it's okay though, it's okay. I give them slack, I cut them slack. It's a dunk. These, we already know dunks automatically sell out. Once they even touch base on any platform, they sell out automatically. So for them to have this shoe come out, it's gonna be a high market price. I can tell you that right now. The reason why, blue. Everybody loves blue. The main colors is blue, red, and well, yeah, just blue and red. I'm just let blue and red go because everybody loves blue and red. Chicago or their Game Royal. Their, yeah, a bread, oh, that's what it was. Bread, bread colorway or the Game Royal colorway. Either one, you're going to get a beautiful, dope shoe. And this is what Nike did with the Dunks. Amazing shoe. I give it a 9 out of 10. Yes, it, like, it looks similar to other Dunks, certain Dunks, but this blue is great. I love that orange as a hidden thing in the shoe. That's probably my number one favorite is that orange textile on the insoles as the hidden favor on this shoe. The blue is a beautiful blue. Game Royal, you never go wrong with that. That's my number two favorite. And I, I would say my third favorite is that nylon on the tongue. Departure, that's on the departure of the tongue. Little nylon, you kind of see it. When you see the pictures, you kind of see it. And it kind I think to me, it's like a little bit of a different blue, like a, maybe a lighter blue little bit I don't, i'm not for sure i'm i'm if i'm still if you on it i gotta look at it a little bit more and come back to it and be like oh okay but those are my favorite three things on the shoe i love it i'm gonna try to cop this shoe i think aftermarket is already going for 250 280 something like that i think i gotta check on it but other than that man this shoe came out today as a sneaker of the day in my opinion so if you guys do like this shoe man comment down below what you guys feel about it what's your opinion if this shoe is should be named something else because of the orange like the gators uh florida gators i don't i'm just saying you know you guys give me your opinion what you guys think and you guys let me know in the comment section okay but other than that man look i'm out of here i'm gonna see you guys tomorrow with another i think it's another drop tomorrow as well and we're gonna go from there all right but without further ado you guys keep them laced and stay blazing because blazer reggie i'm out of here okay i'm out of here like fish jumping out of the water to get up to the stream before they get caught by the bear in the springtime. Too much? <laughs> Too much. Hey, I'm out of here, man. Blaze ready. Keep them laced. Stay blazing. We out.